pleasant good day to all tuning into Christ Jesus is Lord ministry I want to welcome you back to this channel for those of you who are tuning in for the first time I want to welcome you and I find it a joy and a pleasure to have you tuning in to these Bible presentation as I often said this is where the Bible speaks if it's in the word it will be heard and if it's in the book we ought to take a look and we are going to take a look here it's not talk but we deal with substance, we deal with the Word of God. Today we'll be looking at the subject, God's remedy for, for spiritual hypermetropia and myopia. Hypermetropia is farsightedness, while myopia is nearsightedness. In hypermetropia, which is farsightedness, objects in the distance appear clear, while objects which are near appear to be blurred. Whereas myopia, which is nearsightedness, objects which are near appear clear to the individual, but objects in the distance appears blurred now our key portion of scripture is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 6 and we'll read verse 6 through to 8 and we'll be centering this discourse this short presentation on the latter part of verse 8 but it will be surrounding all the principles contained in the scripture here in Deuteronomy chapter 6 from verse 1 through to 8 now, it reads, And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. That is what the Word of God teaches. That is what the Word of God says. God has our best interests at heart. He is interested in our well-being, our spiritual, physical, and psychological well-being. He is interested in all areas of our lives. And He thinks good of us according to Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11, which says, For I know the thoughts which I think towards you said the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end some version will render it to give you a future now as I have said I will be zeroing in on the latter part of verse 8 which says and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes frontlets here means eyeglasses now this portion of scripture, verse 8, which says, And they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes, helps us to understand that God wants us to see clearly, not only in the physical, but more so what the scripture you're speaking of is the spiritual. He has given his word, which is the spiritual eyeglasses, for the remedy of our spiritual short-sightedness, and farsightedness. Many today are suffering terribly from spiritual short-sightedness and farsightedness. This is so because they are lacking the law of Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 9b, which says, By knowledge shall the just be delivered. In not speaking of worldly knowledge, it's speaking about the knowledge of the Word of God. And when you are knowledgeable, of the word of God you will know what God expects of you and what he does not expect of you it is important to note that God's powerful word is the remedy for both spiritual nearsightedness and farsightedness God wants us to be balanced 